after that victory ceremony we have the 100 meters butterfly a final for the men and uh, Lars Frölunda of Sweden in lane four was the fastest in the heats this morning and he's currently 50th in the world but he was quickest this morning so the lineup Glauber Silva of Brazil currently 30th in the world in this event in number two Kyle Marcia Almeida he's the 11th fastest in the world at the moment Rafael Munoz of Spain he's currently 31 in the world in this event and there's Lars Frolanda who well is the quickest qualifier with a rapid 52.36 he achieved this morning which is uh, the 10th best of his career and Nikita Konovalov of Russia in lane five he was closest to Frölunda in the heats with a 53.00 Evgeny Koptolov also of Russia in lane six in lane seven it's Medina Hernandez of Cuba and then finally Jordan Coelho of France in lane eight so 100 meters butterfly a final for the men just about to get underway so in they go and as we get to the first 25 Nikita Konovalov has gone out well in the white cap in the middle of your picture but edging ahead now Rafael Munoz in the, also in the white cap in lane three he looks to be just ahead of the turn 24.47 the split and Munoz is heading up the effort but the rest of the field coming back now and Almeida coming in with a very strong second 50 and now in with the tattoos in the white cap that's Nikita Konovalov it's going to be very close at the end it's a fantastic effort from the Russian and he may just pip Lars Frölunda and he has a fantastic win for Nikita Konovalov he takes first in 52.73 six hundredths of a second ahead of Lars Frölunda who I thought was probably the favorite for this the Swede and then finally in third place it was Almeida in lane two with a time of 52.99 so the first three all under 53 seconds but Nikita Konovalov had a fantastic race and it almost looked as if Lars Frölunda was going to take it but well it's all about who touches home first and Nikita Konovalov was first to do that as the result